somewhere west of Wall Street is where my heart and soul reside. Thanks for riding along with us as we explore another trail somewhere west of Wall Street. Today, we're in Crazy Horse, South Dakota at the Crazy Horse Memorial, which is being carved out of a 6,500 foot mountain in the Black Hills of Western South Dakota. It began in 1933 when a Lakota Sioux named Standing Bear heard that a monument to Crazy Horse was to be constructed at Fort Robinson, Nebraska. Now, Crazy Horse was a war leader of the Oglala Lakota Sioux. He was one of the war chiefs in the 1876 Battle of the Little Bighorn, at which General George A. Custer and most of the 7th Cavalry were killed. Crazy Horse also led a number of other raids, but in 1877, realizing that the end of life as he and other Sioux had known was near, Crazy Horse surrendered at Fort Robinson. A few months later, he was killed by one of the soldiers there in a misunderstanding. But his memory is still honored by the Sioux, and he ranks among the most notable and iconic of all Indian tribal members. The memorial is a nonprofit undertaking and receives no federal or state funding. The Memorial Foundation charges fees for its visitor center and earns revenue from its gift shop. Korzak reportedly was offered $10 million for the project from the federal government on two occasions, but he turned the offers down. He felt that the project was more than just a mountain carving and he feared that his plans for the broader educational and cultural goals of the memorial would be overturned by federal involvement. All of those who started the project are gone now, but in their descendants, the passion for all aspects of the Foundation's mission is as strong as is the desire to keep the promise Korzak made to Standing Bear 69 years ago. In the developing years of the American West, life depended on few essentials for survival. Those resilient pioneers forged the way for our future, that's why their stories of self-reliance are still talked about. At the National Ranching Heritage Center, we believe not only in preserving that legacy, but also in nurturing it. Help preserve the image of our nation's livestock industry by becoming a member of the Ranching Heritage Association. Visit ranchingheritage.org to become a part of a living legacy.